All right, folks, we are at the Livonia Bunker entrance. This entrance goes to the solo entrance, which can be hard to do by yourself if you don't clear the zombies out first. If you continue following this road, it will take you to another entrance that requires two players, but there is no sound when you go into the bunker. Since I am by myself, we're going to go to the solo entrance. now that all the company's taken care of this is the part i'm talking about because so when you go into this bunker it will sound an alarm and it is a loud alarm and it takes a few seconds for the bunker door open if you do not take care of these zombies before you do that then you're going to be fighting all these zombies at once another thing about this is if you're playing this on an official server this is where people will hide to get your key card they will hide in this base and then these woods and wait for you to go to open the door and then they will kill you for the card But, let's go, this is the punch card here, if you didn't watch the first video, I'll let you see it again. All it is is a paper punch card, like it says up there, that has like holes punched in it to use a control module. So, that's the card. If you use the GPS and the map, or this is a modded out private server of my own, so, when you open the map, this is where you're looking for right here. This little red dot, the bog down here. If you have the GPS and the tourist map, it will show your position on there so you will know where it's at. Oh, it's a little military base here. Oh, a copter going down. Just gonna look through these buildings for a second. if there's anything I want, but... Ooh, grenade launcher. Uh, more grenade launchers. The more grenade launchers. Uh, I've been in this bunker several times. There is nothing in this bunker that you have to fight, at least not on the first level. I have yet to go to the second level. But I'm just showing you here how to get into the bunker. So a big thing you need to remember to bring with you for this, this bunker is completely blacked out. Like there is no power inside the bunker or lights. So you'd either need MVGs, a head torch, or bring torches, flashlight, glow sticks. You need to bring some form of light on your own. Because once the door shuts, it's, it's completely dark in there. Now for the purpose of going into the bunker, you can get into the bunker and it does not use the key card to come out. It just takes the key card to get into the bunker. If you use the secondary entrance that I talk about with no sound, that's at the way at the top of the other side of the hill, you will need two players, one to use the key card, the punch card module, and one person to run in the door. Once inside the door, you can open it at any time and let the other person back in. That being said, I'll show you how this door opens. So, Go up to here with your punch card. Like you see this big alarm sounds off. If you have not killed the zombies, or I'd watch for other players because they can come from either side up here to try and get in the bunker. And like I said, the door is slow, so 
run inside, you can make a right, shut the door, and you can defend yourself at least from in here. <clears throat> There's a couple little things here and there. Uh, this bunker supposedly has some of the higher tier loot in the game. I don't know how true that is. I haven't found anything high tier, but mine is a modded server, so the loot could be totally different on yours. As you can see, it's creepy as shit and it's dark as shit. So, turn on the MVGs and you can see it goes back in here. There's no zombies, at least not on my server. I have not been into this thing on the official server. But it's very quiet, it's very creepy, it's very dark. Once you get to the second level, it's when it starts. You have to, there may be zombies on the second level, I do not know. A lot of these rooms have nothing in them but rubble. Uh, certain rooms like this one has a few things. You can go over here and there's higher tier loot like this. Hog assault rifle. There's several of those in here. Now they will not be in pristine condition. These are all mods I have installed on the server. So like any other, oh, take that. Like any other official server, most everything you pick up is trash anyway, so. Going a little further. There's nothing really in there but trash. I'm, from what I'm talking about from my times going through this before. All right, so go further into the bunker. There's several other rooms. This bunker goes up into the mountain to the top and it goes down into the mountain below. Uh, I believe if I remember correctly, the entrance to go down should be up here on the left. I think that's that stairwell. As you go in here, is a bunk room. Destroy. Alright, so now I've got a full NBC suit from being in here. And you got several assault rifles, NBC suits, you saw the pox antidote. There's all kinds of ammo and explosives in here. Uh, continue on, there's an NBC respirator. I haven't seen any pox gas in this bunker, but that does not mean it's not on the second or third level. You'll probably find other videos that would research it more and show you exactly what each level looks like. I'm only going to go through level one and show you what level two is. These little areas right here are worth searching. You see these little boxes open up here. They are chock full of ammo. And some are like this one here and have explosives laying everywhere. I don't need any more explosives. So. But more boxes open with ammo. And usually the harder to find ammo, like the 9x39 armor piercing and several of those. Uh, another room just like it. There is something very unique that you can find in this bunker though and they are in these boxes right here And that is the pox grenades That people so like to use on each other and official uh, If you're new to this game the pox grenades Are a very lethal gas without an antidote to it. You will die within a few minutes. I Think it's Two minutes 30 seconds you're completely incapacitated you will bleed profusely with little cuts and marks and and after that it's unconsciousness and then you are dead i've already been in this room okay and there's several stairwells as you go down through here a bunch of crushed rooms there's a two or three grenade launchers And here's another one of the rooms that have the boxes. As you can see, all kinds of ammo. I will take the 9 by 39 uh, 
more boxes, more ammo. And you can climb up on these and there may be some more open boxes up there for you to loot through. Always pay attention to the ones on the ground because those are the ones that usually have the pox. So these are the stairwells that go up to the top entrance where you can go through the two man door. I'm going to go up and we're going to go down and show you what the... There's just a bunch of corridors and floors up through there with like one or two rooms with some loot you can find. We're going to go down here. Pass it to the... Yeah, yeah, here it is. No? Oh, no, it goes up to... Give me a second, I don't remember which one of these stairwells it is. Ah, oh, here we go. That was a one. So, you'll go down probably 10 flights of stairs here. And as you go down, this part going to the second floor has to be done as a speed run. If you are trying this solo cannot get to the third floor by yourself you will become trapped and I'll show you why when we get down here to the bottom it's a pretty long way down in here so goes down probably 30 or 40 feet into the ground 50 feet 100 feet all right this is floor two so a little room here. I don't think any of it has anything in here. A lock. But here's the part I'm talking about. As you can see down there, it's all flooded. And you have two wheelhouse files there. So, you can go down the ladder there, and the entrance to the second floor is in the bottom. So you come over here to this. And whoever the second player you have with you, if you want to do this with somebody else, or if you're attempting to do this solo. Wait, that's the wrong one. I used the wrong wheel. I apologize. Once you do this, you'll watch the water will start to drain down. This is where you will need somebody else to be with you. Because it's on a timer, and after so many minutes, it refills itself. <coughs> <coughs> it refills itself, so there's a little bitty like tunnel entrance down here. I'll get over here on the side so you can see it when the water gets low enough. So as you see, the water drains down, and you can attempt to do this solo, but like I said, you've got so long before the water fills back up, and once it gets over top of that tube, you, it's so long you can't swim out, you will drown. But if you have somebody up here running the bunker with you, they can operate these and lower the water for you. And once you get to the other side, it raises the water up so that you can go up into the other area to get to the third level. I'm not going to attempt to speed run on this because it may kill me and if it does then I'll, I'll have to sit here and time this out to know how long I've got before this floods but we'll go back up now and I'll show you what the upper part looks like and then we'll go out the secondary entrance so you can see what that looks like. So I think there's like one to two rooms on each floor and you got to take a different stairwell to go higher. Alright, so 
so up we go. The two main entrances at the very top of this. We'll have to go up a couple of different stairwells because each one of these ends on one of the floors. So, oh, oh, this one keeps going up. As you come out of the stairwell, you'll go down this hallway and there'll be a couple of rooms. I think one barracks room, and it'll have a couple of different things in here. So far, me playing it on this modded server, I haven't found a whole. Besides the pox grenades and the full NBC suit, I haven't found anything super spectacular in here, but that doesn't mean there's not higher tier loot on the next floor down, or the second level of the bunker. That could be what the high tier loot is, and that's the reason why it takes two people to get to it. Oh, that one is there, that one goes there. Alright, here it is. We'll go up to the next floor. Here's the next floor. Both of those go down, so there should be a room over here. Uh, radio sonar equipment. So there's a little storage room. Those are crushed, so to go up this one. Just remember that once you do open this door up here, it automatically closes. So once you go out of the bunker, if one of you do not stay in it to let the other person back in, you will have to reuse the punch card and then do it. So it only has so many punches left on it before it goes bad. And you can always find another at one of the little military convoys. There's that. Open it. Go out. I'm blind! Oh, there we go. And this is the other entrance. You can come up here where I turned right. You can follow the road to a dead end and it goes to a parking lot below this hill. I'll show you that on the way back to my... And you go through this little like radio control tower here and it's got some decent loot in it usually. Like I said, if you're playing on an official server you have to be wary because it's like anything else, most military bases and officials death traps. Grenade launcher. And we're at the top. Here's where you would have to use the key card to get in this entrance. So when your buddy has to be down there on the inside ready at the door, you use the key card, they go in, and then you'll they'll have to open the bell or back up from the inside to let you in. This entrance does not have an alarm, so maybe the safer entrance to go if you and your one of your fellow player friends are on an official server. This might not be as heavily guarded. I'm not saying it wouldn't be heavily guarded. It's probably still as heavily guarded, but at least there's no alarm when you open the door. So if somebody's not paying attention or is it within earshot of the bunker door when you open it, then you could should be safe. <coughs> All right, well, let's put a little video on the bunker. So. If you liked it, subscribe, give a little follow, like, comment, I will post more videos as I discover Livonia.